What's up guys, this is Jason from 5 to one forex Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the free XM Partnership EA that we've recently launched. So first off, what we're going to want to do is go to our web browser, do a simple search for XM Global, click on that. Then we're going to want to log in quick. Just enter our details and log in. Alright, so over here we're going to want to go all the way to the side where it says add an additional account. We click on that. We're going to create a MT5 account, standard, with a 1 to 1000 leverage on the USD currency. Then over here, this is the important bit, have a partner code. We're going to click on that. We're going to enter 521FX. Then we're going to click on I declare. Then continue. Then we're going to create a quick password. For our traded account, we can you guys can choose anything you you want for that. Just gonna click on complete. Alright, perfect. So over here it's gonna give us some useful information. There's our account number that we're gonna use to log into our MT5 platform. And then we're going to use server 4 for my account. Obviously your server is going to be different from the one that I am going to be using. So please just keep that in mind while doing your installation. Then we're going to go back to the XM over here. We're going to click on trading, MT5 platform. We're going to click on PC. It's going to download. Then we quickly open file next and then the download process is going to begin click on finish now we're just waiting for the meta trader to start up quickly all right perfect up top here we're going to click on add new company like so we're going to click type in xm global find company Make sure that it's on XM Global over here when you log in. We're just going to click on next. Login. We're going to go back to our web browser where our details are. We're just going to copy this account number over here. Obviously yours is going to be different. We're going to enter the password that we chose. and then the server. So please note that each one of you guys' server is going to be different. I am currently on server four with this account, but yours will most likely be a different server. We look for server four, we select that, and then finish. Incoming mail. All right, then it's gonna give us this pop-up. We're gonna go over to trade. You guys will notice that I've already funded this account a bit earlier. First off, we're going to close the USD chef. We're going to close the GBP USD. We're going to put the Euro USD on 15 minutes, the USD JPY on 15 minutes, and we're going to make them full screen. We're going to click over here on view, symbols, derivatives, spot metals, and then gold. Press OK. Now we're going to add the gold chart to our charts over here. Spot metals gold. This one we're also going to put on 15 minutes. So these three pairs are going to be the ones that you guys are going to use for the news bot. So for the scalping bot, let's quickly add another USD JPY on the one minute time frame and another gold. On the one minute time frame as well so now we're going to click on tools we're going to go down to options and then we're going to click on expert advisors 
allow web request URLs. So I've already saved them in a little notepad over here. You can find these URLs in our installation guide and you can also get them at the bottom of this video. We're going to press enter and now the second URL. Press enter. So now our URLs are, are updated over here. So first off, we're going to be dealing with a news bot. So let's click on your USD. So I've already saved the bots files over here. Here's the scalping bot. And then over here is the news bot. So we're going to copy both of these. We're going to click on our MetaTrader 5, we're going to go to File, Open Data Folder, MQL5, Experts, and then we're just going to paste both of them there. Perfect. Then we're going to click on Expert Advisors over here, we're going to say Refresh. So you'll see there's the news bot right there. So now with the Euro USD chart on the 15 minute time frame, we're just going to double click on this. Allow algo trading, allow modification of signal settings. Over here in inputs, you can adjust your lot sizes according to your account size. Then we're just going to press OK. And you should see the little gray hat over there. We're going to do the same for the USD JPY on the 15 minute time frame. Allow algo trading, allow modification of signals, input. Again, you can change your lot sizes over there. Press OK. Then on the gold chart, we are going to do the same. Allow algo trading, allow modification of signals. Press OK. All right, so our news bot is up and running. Over here on USD JPY on the one minute time frame, we are going to double click on the scalper. Now things are going to work a bit different here. We're going to allow algo trading, allow modification of signals over here in inputs. We are going to click on load. Then we're going to click on the set file for USD JPY and then press open and press OK. Your chart should change like this. Now on the gold, we are going to do exactly the same. We are going to double click on this, go to common, allow algo trading, allow modification of signal settings. We're going to click on load and then we are going to load the set file for gold and then press OK as well. So up top here, you'll see that the little hats on all of the charts is grayed out. So to fix that, we're going to click on algo trading over here so that it shows green. Then you'll see that all of those little hats will have changed to blue. And then you are all sorted. Please leave us a like and a follow. And yeah, we're looking forward to seeing you again. <music>